Hello everybody, this is Alexis Cabrera and today I wanted to recreate the infamous Moog Minitar in VCV Rack. Yes, I'm going to use modular system to build up the same structure of this analog synthesizer. So we can see that Moog Mini Tower is uh, two VCOs with sawtooth waves, exactly the original Taurus respectively, and an additional square waves. All right, so I'm going to try to find the same component and trying to build it up in VCV rack. That's why I'm just going to uh, keep this picture as a reference. So here we are in VCV rack. I just have these two modules so far, this MIDI to CV module that I have uh, hooked up with Arturia Beats the Pro. It's just to send some notes when I need it. And then my audio interface that I had uh, connected with mode to ultra light. Okay, so let's start. Here I have the picture of the mini tower. So basically what we have is a two oscillators synthesizer, like one oscillator is a saw waveform and square waveform. So let's just find out what kind of oscillator I can use. And uh, I have Befaco. And uh, the good thing about this one is that you can change the octave if you need and then the tune has to plus and minus seven semitones. And then the good things are also that we have like two inputs for the voltage per octave. And uh, and this is what we're gonna use. And of course we have our two waveforms that we need. So I'm gonna duplicate also this one. So then we have both, yeah. And um, I'm gonna also label. So then I know this oscillator one. And uh, I'm going to duplicate also this one and put it here. And this is going to be oscillator two. Yeah. And um, yeah, but actually, oscillator two is up here. So I'm going to try to keep it the same way. So, like this. Okay. So now we have a switch to change to square when it's on and when it's off is a saw waveform. So let's try to reproduce the same. So to do that, the good thing is that we can uh, we switch between one or the other. So that's why we are going to use a switch. A switch from Boga Audio. Super nice. I think it's this one. Yes. This is the one. And then we can connect the saw down here and the square up here and then we latch it. Latch means that w every time I press I'm gonna switch between one or the other. Yeah, Without latch it keeps high and high only when the gate gets the full signal. Yeah, So that's why I needed latch. So then I can just switch it from here. Yeah. So in this case it's high, so high means that the square is on, like here. So now I'm going to also duplicate this one and let's do the same with this one. So a high for the square and the low for the saw. Then let's keep seeing what we need. So basically we also will need, I think a mixer is going to be better. And then we also need like two envelopes. We will need an LFO, yeah, and filter, of course. And then the glide, okay, this is also something nice. Okay, so I'm gonna start adding a couple of envelopes because the envelope, we have one for the filter and the other one is gonna be for the amplifier, for the VCA. So that's why let's just find a couple of envelopes. Also from Boga Audio, and in this case, ADSR. So I'm going to get this envelope. Because you know that we can also access to the release when we press release. In this case, I'm just going to use directly the ADSR for this one. And then this one is a um, attack, release, and sustain. It's a bit different. So let's use the 
ASR. And it's kind of similar for this one for the filter. So that's why I'm gonna load already a filter. And there is a really cool one from Vult. Super cool one. It's a ladder filter. It's like the same filter as they use for the for this MOOC because it also it has a drive which is super super nice and then we can select also the uh, different slopes but in this case I'm gonna use only the 24. Anyway, so that's why I'm gonna uh, use this one. This is gonna be our filter. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna start labeling everything. So filter amazing excellent cool like this and then this one is gonna be gonna put it down here actually i'm gonna duplicate also the label just to add here and then also there for for both so this one is gonna be envelope filter like this and this one is gonna be envelope Amp. Perfect. Nice. So then the envelope, I'm gonna control the cutoff. I'm gonna open it full on. And uh, yeah, I mean, this will be my attenuator. But in this case, the attenuator is the EG amount. Yeah, so it's gonna be this envelope. But I, I think I can also maybe make a little bit easier. And um, I'm gonna look for a mixer, and it's called Mix One. Mix One here, amazing. Now I'm gonna use it as a VCA. You know, so that's why I keep it always like fully open. And then I control the amount, you know, this one, this amount, I control it with this fader, yeah? Okay, fair enough, cool, excellent. And now, um, and now we are gonna have both oscillators going through the filter, yeah? So that's why the output, we need to send it to the input and both. But as I can see here, I have like different volumes for every oscillator. So that's why I will need first a mixer, but only a two, only two inputs. And that's why I'm gonna use one, this one from AS. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there down here and then, then, okay, so then I'm gonna send the oscillator two into the input two, the oscillator one into the input one, and then the master, I'm gonna send it to my input. And then from the uh, 24, I will send it to, just to see if I have some, some sound, I will send a gate to the to both envelopes like that sorry and then pitch to both oscillators yeah and then i'm just gonna write a sequence from here perfect so now this is what i need actually i will need like two vcas one for each oscillator. Now I'm thinking that actually I could use this envelope amp directly to the level CV. To the level CV in the mixer. So now. Like that.
super nice. Okay, excellent. So stop the sequencer. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, so I have the level for every VCO. Okay, I have it already here, like this. So I have the second VCO that is up here, and then I can change. Now it's in high, so it's square. And the, the first one, I'm listening to the first one, so I can change. So when it's light up, when it's high, is square and then when it's off when it's down is a saw Oof, nice. okay cool fair enough and then we have the, the second one but in this case it's also a saw and i can for example I can add seven semitones on top. Nice, cool, cool. Okay, I'm gonna mute it. And um, okay, so le let's keep going. Okay, so I have already the volumes for each oscillator. I have it here. The envelopes. I already have the envelope to the filter, and then I have the envelope for for the levels for the amplifier. So I have it here as well. Excellent. Now, what else do we need? Uh, we have independent frequency, so we can change it from here. We can turn on and off the oscillators, so we can switch between them. Fair enough, excellent. Now, let's jump into the mod section. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put everything together there. Okay, mod section, I'm gonna need an LFO. So I'm gonna use one from Boga Audio. From Boga Audio. That is super small, like this. Yeah, and also a label where I can say this is mod section, right? Like here, mod section. Very nice, excellent. And now with this LFO, what can I affect? I can affect the VCF and the VCO. Need. Okay, so I have only one input for the for the CV for the cutoff. I'm gonna use this multiplier from Audible Instruments, where you have different options. And in this case, what I need to do is I need to sum two signals, right, like this, and one output to the to the filter. Now. The thing is that, um, again, uh, I have the amount right that I want to send to the LFO. So that's why I'm, I need like an attenuator. And um, I can use, for example, from Befaco, has this double attenuator, attenuator. And uh, so that's why before going into the multiplier, I'm going to go to the first. And then I can use it, for example, let's see here. Now I'm affecting. Excellent, perfect. Now we need to do the same now for the for the VCO. Yeah, and I'm gonna use the same one in here. Yeah. So um, that's why um I'm gonna use the output to the input and then this output I can I can send it now to the VCO number two and also to the VCO number one. So now it's gonna be like this. So now I have this section also, and also the LFO rate is going to be the rate in the LFO. Now, the last thing that we need now is the glide. Okay, how do we do a glide in modular world? It's with something that is called slew. The slew, like this one. 
Perfect, nice, because now we have uh, this uh, rise and fall options. It's when the sound is going to get connected between the last note and the, the new note. So, how can I do this now? So I need to process the notes that are coming in, I need to process it, and then I will need also um, what I will need the on off for the glide and then the rate okay the rate can be with the rise and fall all right it's fair enough so i need to split first this input for the for the note so that's why i'm just going to select first a multiplier this one from omer modulus there you go where are you? Ah, it's here. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. So what I need to do is I need to disconnect now both inputs and then I'm duplicating it. So I can send it to, to the slew. And then from the slew, I need to have something to switch, right, between on and off. So that's why I'm going to use a switch also from Bog Audio. And it's this one down here, and then I go the high, always latch, yeah. And then when I change the high, it's gonna go out like this. And then the low is when it's off, yeah. And then off, it's gonna go like this, right? And then, so then off is the original signal, all right? So, and now I need to do the same with the uh, oscillator number one. So I need to send it from here, pressing command, you get a new cable, and then I send it there. Excellent. Just like this. So let's see. I think we are pretty much done. This is it. We have the main volume. Is this one? For example, I can switch. it a little bit, I can add, uh, for example, another cable here, this. so this one, I can say, oscillator one, so, square, perfect, so then we know that the higher one is square and the lowest one, so this one I can also duplicate it. So this one, I'm 
This is how you could create the Moog Mini Tower in BCB Rack. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I will share this patch with you. You can download it and use it as much as you want. Thank you so much. See you soon. Goodbye.